Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel. Today, we have another very small mod, but one I think is very suited to be in Minecraft and something that you all should add to your mod packs right now. That being said, this is the more villagers mod. It does exactly what it says. It adds in a bunch of more villagers with more trades to your Minecraft world that you can experience and have fun with yourself. It is also the most recent version of Minecraft, as well as a few of the older ones as well. So if you guys have been enjoying the mod showcases on the channel, smash the like button, show your support, consider subscribing if you are new, and comment down below as I'm reviewing this mod, which villager is your favorite and that you think should be in vanilla Minecraft already. And let's get right into this. So before we go over all the villagers, keep in mind that all these villagers can spawn in any village in your world. They've already been preset to spawn in the villages. You just gotta find them and make trades with them. And I'm just sort of gonna sort of go over sort of what each one uh, does trade, what their options are, and then go from there. So it's gonna be a short mod showcase, but hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Anyway, also forgot to mention the download first mod will be linked in the description. You guys can check it out for yourselves and let's get right into this. So first and foremost, we have the Oceanographer. So this villager handles any trade that has to do with ocean stuff like prismarine, sea lanterns, etc. The trades work just like any other villager. You have to do trades with them to level them up to get more trades unlocked and you go from there. But from which is with just, I cannot speak with just these two trades alone, you can tell that this person's going to be trading a lot of sea themed things. And the reason why I don't have them unlocked all the ways, I don't want to spoil everything in the mod. I want you guys to still experience it. But all you gotta do is make sure you have an oceanographer table and you will be good from there. Now you can craft this, you need a barrel a piece of paper and a string and you will have yourselves an oceanographer and like all other villagers you got to put it next to them get them to turn into it and they do spawn the village which i'll show off at the end of this the village over there just to prove that some of the structures do spawn moving on we have the forester so the forester is going to handle any trades regarding wood or trees similar to how the traveling merchant comes in and brings you saplings and stuff this new forester villager will focus on things like that so as you can see we got a log trade and an oak sapling trade and you'll need the forestry bench. This is crafted with any kind of leaves, any kind of wood planks, and any kind of uh, bark or wood type, as you can see. So that is how you make that table. Next up, we have the netherologist. So netherologist will handle all trades regarding the nether. So as you can see, we have a basalt trade, a nether brick trade, etc. If you're wondering how to make the decayed workbench, it is crafted with warped planks and nether bricks. So of course you could not make this until you go to the nether unless this magically spawns in the village. Uh, next up we have the enderologist. Now this villager doesn't seem to want to bind with this workbench. I'm assuming this has to actually spawn in the nether. We have the purple altar. We have endstone and purple blocks. Uh, the screenshot on the wiki, on the uh, Curse Forge page shows this being in the end. So either this is a structure that spawns in the end or it's just um, glitched right now and the villager's not binding to the table correctly because the nether one worked perfectly. So I don't know what's up with that, but it would be any end theme trade if you're wondering. Uh, next up we have the engineer. So the engineer is gonna handle any redstone trade. So we got redstone for emerald and you can some redstone repeaters uh, as well if you pay him some emeralds. If you're wanting how to craft the, the blueprint table is one blue dye, one piece of paper and any kind of planks and you will have your blueprint table crafted. Uh, next up with the florist. The florist also seems a little bugged right now, but this is going to handle any gardening trade like flowers, etc. As you can see, you can craft it with any kind of flower and any kind of planks and you will get the florist table. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with these two, but they are bugged right now that seem to be working or I'm doing something wrong. If someone knows I'm doing something wrong, let me know please in the comments. Otherwise, these two seem to be bugged with the current version I'm in. Um, Hunter is the next villager, which is this guy right here. He'll do any sort of mob theme trade. So we got bones for emeralds and then you can give him some emeralds for some slime balls. Uh, we got the Hunter post workbench and you can craft that with any kind of log of an arrow and a leather. So a lot of these you can make on day one if you found a village, but also, like I said, these can spawn in villages. So you don't have to really worry about that. The final villager that's currently in the mod is the miner. So he'll handle anything mining related. So we have deep slate for an emerald and you give him an emerald for some calcite, which is pretty cool. And then we have the mining bench, which is crafted with it, a raw iron ore, an iron pickaxe and, and two stone. So that seems like the most expensive one. I think personally so far out of the group in terms of like the rarity of the blocks and stuff or like what you would have to put into it. But let me go over to the village right now just to prove to you that some of these structures do spawn. So this is the, um, is one of the structures right here. This is the oceanographer. Uh, what would you call it? Um, building that could spawn. There's supposed to be water here, I think, but there isn't for whatever reason. But as you can see, it has a chest full of some sea pickles, some dried kelp, etc. 
Uh, the villager can, of course, spawn here as well. But right now, the, you guys know how villagers start. They have to they have to go to their work tables and figure that stuff out. There's another oceanographer right here, it looks like. Um, but it is supposed to be random which houses uh, yield which thing. This is a normal one that can spawn in villages. So yeah, essentially you just want to go from village to village and see if you can find the tables or the different villagers, or you can just craft them yourself and have your own personal one. Uh, right here with hunting post as well. Hunting post chest has some apple, spider eyes, and leather inside. I'm not sure if the chest loot de is determined as well, but it looks like it kind of is um, based on just what I'm seeing. Why was there only one apple on that one? That's kind of sketch. Um, but it looks like that is all the ones that spawned in this village unless... Because I think this is just the vanilla... Oh no, it's the forestry workbench. Never mind. So yeah. I think this is a very good mod if you're going to do a bunch of mod packs things. If you're going to have a bunch of mods. If you're going to get any sort of villager theme mod pack, this is also the mod you're going to want to add. Um, or if you're the type of person that just likes playing like vanilla Minecraft with just a little bit of modded sprinkled in, this is another good mod because it doesn't change up the game too much. It just adds in some more villager traits that you can take advantage of. Either way, that is going to be it for this showcase. If this mod updates in the future and adds in any new cool things, I'll make videos on it. Otherwise, uh, that's going to be it for this. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, everybody. And do not forget the down will be linked in the description. Do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. Goodbye, everyone.